Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I'm on a Meteor 650, made by Royal Enfield, of course. <laughs> So thank you to Paul at Moonrakers for loaning me this motorcycle so I can chat to you guys and tell you what I really feel about it. Regular subscribers will know that I owned a Interceptor prior to this. Actually there's a tunnel, let's go through it. Oh what a sound! Wow! Sorry, the kid in me came out. But I don't know about you, every time you see a tunnel you have to give you a tunnel ref, don't we? And there she is in all its glory. What a stunning machine. I do love a nice Royal Enfield. So this has the same engine as the Interceptor that I owned. 52 newton meters of torque. It's the same engine in the shotgun as well actually. Well proven engine, very easy to work on. I also have a video on the tap adjustment on this which is so easy to do. It's one of the main features about this bike that I love. Seat height is 740 millimeters and the weight is 241 kilograms. Not too bad. I am 5 foot 9, 29 inch inner seam and I can flat foot this very confidently. Uh, the forward controls are not a stretch. Although I've got short legs. Very, very comfortable. We have a 15.7 litre tank and that does 61 miles per gallon. I've said this uh, previously, I love the fact that you can get this these uh, rolling fields in so many different colours. You can get it black, blue, green, interstellar green, interstellar grey, celestial red and celestial blue. All those colours. Right, so these are 6799 on the road. And the interstellar version is 6999 on the road. Right, so that's the boring specs out of the way this have a look at some of the features and talk about all the controls and the dash and all that such all right start off the switch gear what good quality is that it's metal proper metal you do not get that with most motorcycles nice and solid so i mean these bikes may come up heavy on paper because they are built to quality nice span adjustable clutch there nice thick to get your fingers on Beautiful shiny chrome mirrors, LED headlight, side light and dip beam. We have traditional filament bowls for the indicator, which is a good thing, so you can carry them if you lose, if, you, uh, if your bulb goes, and you can easy to replace the bulb and not the whole unit itself. Lovely forward controls, nice thick rubber, proper foot pedal there, proper brake pedal, nice and thick. I love this engine. Regular subscribers know that I owned a Interceptor 650 in the past. Very easy to work on, as I said earlier. Such a great proven engine. We have the bribery brakes on the back, and they are made by Brembo. Rear brake is very good. Front brake is more progressive. Pull it hard and it will stop hard. And I say it's very adequate. Lovely swing arm. Got Seat tyres, which are very similar to Pirelli's. Very grippy, they were great on my Interceptor. Never had an issue and I threw that round corners like nothing. Nice upside down forks. Big chunky forks. They've definitely upped their game. Look at the quality. Nice and thick. Oh, I'm getting too excited. Right, so we spoke about the specs. So I'm going to jump on it now, do a couple of ride buys. And we'll talk about the riding position and how it makes me feel. So I'll catch you on the road. 
So, as I was saying, regular subscribers will know that I owned a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 previously. So I'm going to compare this to that because it has the same engine. I mean, it's not directly comparable, but I've also ridden the Royal Enfield Shotgun 650, which is more similar between the Interceptor and the Meteor 650. Right, so straight away, the forward controls are fantastic. I love forward controls and tell me if you haven't tried them and you have an opinion on them please please try them try forward controls you either love them or hate them and I freaking love them it's such a comfortable position and the main reason why we ride is to get that nice neck wrenching feel when you open up the accelerator and when your position is uh, located in such a relaxing way that feels so rewarding so this bike is very easy to live with if you are if you're not a mechanic but you are a little bit a dab on the tools you don't mind getting involved this bike will teach you a lot so easy to work on I've got plenty of content on the Royal Enfields and all of them are very intuitive and they teach you how anyone with a spanner can work on their own motorcycle and that is how honestly it should be there's no reason why you shouldn't have a connection with your motorcycle there's no reason why you can't bond with it and take its nuts apart do you know what i mean <laughs> right so we've got that out of the way very easy to work on very easy to live with i love the royal infields because they do them in so many different colors mainstream brands you get a choice of two maybe three if you are lucky and if you want the third one you have to have a special order on it it's going to wait six months not with this not with royal enfield they have them on the shelf ready to go i say on the shelf but it's a figure of speech ready to go ready to be collected pop to moonrakers have a look they've got so many royal enfields in stock so many they should be your go-to Royal Enfield dealer if you are local to Norwich and they also deliver nationwide from what I understand. Just give Paul a call, have a chat with him and tell him that Nick sent you. So the reason why I love Royal Enfields so much is because they have a lot of passion and soul in their vehicle manufacturing. And that transforms to a very well built, thought out motorcycle. Right now we are heading up to 60. Let's just tell you what the wind protection is like. It is non existent, we don't have wind protection, but I can tell you we have clean air. Not a lot of buffeting, not as good as the shotgun that I rode. It has better wind protection than the shotgun because it has a cowling around the headlight. So having said that, this is still manageable we have a lot of wind on the legs and because i have fairly loose trousers on today jeans they are flapping around so i imagine that could get a little bit annoying depending on what you're wearing if you put your leggings on you'll be fine <laughs> comfort wise as i said extremely comfortable this seat cups your buttocks if you're a larger guy like me you have a big ass your rolls can protrude the edge and it can get a bit diggy so if you are buying this and you are larger you might want to consider getting a touring seat for it which i know is available you can buy a touring seat for this vibrations are non-existent such a smooth vehicle well that mean the 650 engine is you know it's proven it's a well proven engine it's based on an old school design they were designed to burn gasoline and calls lots of power lots of bad emissions <laughs> so uh royal enfield is struggling with uh, meeting the emissions laws with these designs but you know they are tried and tested and they they are proper old school designs the sound the feel you know everything it just just gives you fills you with that passion you know 
Oh, it sounds so nice. The exhaust is gargling and popping. And that is what you want. It's the real thrill. It has enough power to get you up to speed in most situations. You can be cruising at 60 and you have the power to overtake a vehicle at 60 mile an hour, raising up to 70. This will do 100. It will do 100. And to be honest, you've just got to work the gearbox a bit more. And I think that adds to the fun factor, if you ask me. It really does. Like I said in my walk around, 61 miles per gallon. Not bad, not bad at all. And it ain't slow, is it? You know? Oh, yes. Feels like you're on a freaking roller coaster. So satisfying. Great vehicle. If you are concerned about the reliability of this vehicle, of Royal Enfield brand in general, do not be concerned at all. You get two years warranty, you get two years breakdown cover, all from new, all for free, included in the price. I can't speak for other dealerships, but I'm just referring to Moonrakers. It's a no-brainer. You've got a retro-looking bike that is brought up to modern standards, i.e. ABS and all that, LEDs and all that sort of jazz fuel injection, but it looks like an old school design, like it's come out from a 60s factory, you know? It's got that proper vintage feel to it. I would highly recommend one, highly recommend one. I've owned a few Rolling Fields, as you may know, and I've got a massive soft spot for them. Let's go uh, swing this round the roundabout. Yes, so counterbalance, nice and easy. Look at that. Oh. Yes. Honestly, this bike, I'm at home with it immediately. And that's always a plus side, isn't it? If you get on a motorcycle and you feel at home with it, you're halfway there. You're winning. You're winning couple of issues I used to have with my interceptor that used to stall when you were idling you rev if you, if you rev the throttle while you're idling and let off the throttle it will die it will die on you this don't do that I've tested that I've tested it when it's cold I've tested it when it's warm they have ironed that out so that is not an issue the one thing I've had whilst riding this today I've been on it a couple of hours because I want to give you a good honest opinion I don't want a first ride impression um, I've had a couple of false neutrals uh, between third and fourth and honestly that is down to me I've not been knocking it in gear um, more forcefully I've been too gentle on the uh, the gear not a big issue but that, that is a thing that can you can do that um, what else, what else? Because uh, we've got the forward controls, the engine gets quite hot, naturally, it's air-cooled. I prefer air-cooled, it's more reliable, it's, it's more retro-looking. But, as a result of that, you can burn your leg. If you're resting on the engine, like now, I can rest on the engine and, and burn my leg. Or when you're putting your feet down in traffic, you rest on that exhaust, you can burn your leg. Uh, so, it's a negative, but if you've got common sense, you can work around it. Overall, I'm leaving this review with a positive mind. I would love to own one of these. Great value for money. They've got a passionate brand that's improving constantly. The Royal Enfield community is massive. We've got a cult following. Uh, it's just a great bike. It really is. Take my word for it. Actually... You don't have to take my word for it. You can ride one of these. So if you head down to Royal Enfield Moonrakers in Norwich and give one a go. So having said that, please subscribe for more reviews like this. I do lots of maintenance tips. I have a lot of maintenance videos on my Interceptor and my Meteor 350. The valve tappets, servicing schedules, etc. So stay tuned for all that stuff. Thank you for watching. Until then, I've been Nick, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Red safe.
Right, so we've got a dead straight road. It'll be rude not to open up this throttle. Here we go. Second gear. Oh, look at that. Oh, plenty of power. I wouldn't want any more. Let's go down the gears. Oh, listen. Ready? Oh, that goggle. Oh, orgasmic.